Clyde Valley Wader Initiative. It's a wildlife conservation project working closely with the farming community and it's a focus on five bird species in particular that we call farmland waders. So we've got lapwing or peewit, curlew or wop, oyster catcher, snipe and red shank. Now the populations of all five of these species have declined quite dramatically so in recent years. We know that Scotland and the UK is of international importance for these species. We, we, we hold quite a large proportion of the global population and the global populations aren't doing very well. So we recognise that efforts that we make here to conserve the species go a long way to securing the, the global conservation status. Both here in, in Scotland and across the UK and the rest of Europe, and we've got a pretty good understanding as to why the populations are declining. And, and it's really complex. It's a kind of interaction of, of, of lots of different factors, but it can maybe be summarised as sort of loss of some of their breeding habitat, changing habitat as, as land use practices have changed. They've got really, really poor breeding success. We know quite a lot of them can be lost to predators. And if there's high stocking densities of cattle and sheep, there can sometimes be quite high levels of trampling of the nests. Most of these birds incubate their eggs for about four to five weeks, and then these flightless chicks hatch. And our focus is on trying to get as many of those chicks to the point where they fledge, where they can fly. That would hopefully sustain the population if there was enough of them making it, but we know uh, the numbers are nowhere near high enough in, in some areas. These birds are really quite heavily reliant on, on farming practices and, and farmland in general, especially in a place like Scotland. You know, we've got them on nature reserves, yes, but a lot of the population is on farmland, so we're trying to find solutions working with the farming community to conserve them in farmland like areas here in, in South Lanarkshire. We do a uh, rush control and uh, stocking densities are, uh, for different uh, fields just for that main reason, to give, to give the birds a chance. And we've got a couple of uh, wader scrapes put in, one with a, we've got a kind of valve that we can switch over to let the water come up at the right time and, and we can back down again. So, and it's, it's a wee effort to, to make, make things better for the wildlife. In addition to the, the, the species, you know, we want to try and find out how well they're doing. And that's where our, our local volunteers really come in. So we have about 10, local volunteers who help us undertake survey work every year. They go out to different farms and they carry out bird surveys and that gives us an idea of how the, how the local population is doing so we can compare that to the national trend. For me the most rewarding aspect of being part of this project is that you know I can, I can feed back into something much bigger and through the work I'm doing you know can help basically with the conservation of these species which you know you know, we all like and are very important. I mean, one of, one of the, the sort of wider successes I feel of the project has been forming these quite strong links with with individual farmers and some of the estates in the area um, and getting to know one another and realising we've got quite a shared um, kind of purpose here. You know, they're, they're species that everyone loves to, to, to see and hear in the countryside, whether it's the, the local volunteers or, or the farmers or ourselves. Um, so we're all kind of pulling in the same direction. I love to see them in the spring. There's nothing nicer to go out and see the peewits coming back up the valley and the whops. As I say, the, the whop is probably one that you like to hear the most, that, that lovely whistle. You think, oh gosh, the spring's just round the corner. It's marvellous. And, and peewits as well, you love to see them going about. They're, they're beautiful birds. I mean, we talk about all the different species they've got in the world, but the peewits hard to beat when you close up to it and all the different colours they've got in it. And it's blooming, it's lovely. Beautiful bird. When I'm doing my surveys and, and monitoring in the fields, I will speak to the farmers about what I'm doing there and, and get their insight into you know, what birds are there as well and, and what, how they're doing because they'll know the land much better than I do and occasionally I'll be speaking to gamekeepers and these people are on the land 24-7 and are able to find out more than I can do in a couple of hours. It is tricky finding the solutions that definitely work to conserve them. So in the future, you know, I think there'll be more of an emphasis on trying to ensure all the farms uh, across the area and perhaps beyond that want to get involved come to us and we can work together with them.
I think it's a good thing to work together and then the more firms that are round about in, it, in the same scheme, the better, because they're all working in the same idea. There's so much uh, pe people in the world that don't care about things and I think it's a very important part of uh, the environment and the culture of Scotland and, 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 and further afield that people care for what's going on in the country. We don't just go out there and take, take, take. It's got to be able to give back to, to nature itself and that's what I, I really, I'm passionate about that. Thank you.